So likewise you, when ye have done all those things which are commanded you, say, We are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. time is coming when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. People will tell you, there he is, or here he is. Do not go running off after them, for the Son of Man in his day will be like the lightning, which flashes and lights up the sky from one end to the other. But first he must suffer many things and be rejected by this generation. just like this on the day the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, no one who is on the housetop with possessions inside should go down to get them. Likewise, no one in the field should go back for anything. Listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones, who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? children come to me, and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of God. Assuredly, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter it. Sell all that you have and distribute to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me. Receive your sight. Your faith has healed you. Give then unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and to God those which are God's. Beware of the teachers of the law. They like to walk around in flowing robes and love to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces, and have the most important seats in the synagogues, and the places of honour at the banquets. They devour widows' houses, and for a show make lengthy prayers. These men will be punished most severely. Take heed that you not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has drawn near. Therefore do not go after them, but when you hear of wars and commotions, do not be terrified, 
For these things must come to pass first, but the end will not come immediately. Settle it in your hearts not to meditate beforehand on what you will answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries will not be able to contradict or resist. You will be betrayed, even by parents and brothers, relatives and friends, and they will put some of you to death, and you will be hated by all for my name's sake, but not a hair of your head shall be lost. By your patience, possess your souls. When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that its desolation is near. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let those who are in the midst of her depart, and let not those who are in the country enter her. For these are the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. signs in the sun, moon, and stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand up and lift up your heads because your redemption is drawing near. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. When they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves and know that summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that the kingdom of God is near. But take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness, and cares of this life, and that day come on you unexpectedly. For it will come as a snare on all those who dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch therefore, and pray always, that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. Take this, and divide it among yourselves, for I say to you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. He who is greatest among you, let him be as the younger, and he who governs as he who serves. But now, he who has a money bag, let him take it, and likewise a knapsack, and he who has no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. For I say to you that this which is written must still be accomplished in me, and he was numbered with the transgressors. For the things concerning me have an end. Pray that you may not 
enter into temptation. Why do you sleep? Rise and pray, lest you enter into temptation. Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days will come when men shall say, Blessed are the barren, and the wounds that never bear, and the paps which never gave suck. Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do these things to a green tree, what shall be done to the dry? Peace be with you. Why are you troubled? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I, myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high.